Plus two. Hi, plus two. I'm Chris. And I'm Jane. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. This is episode 12, and today is Thursday, January 7th, 2021. Hope the year is off to a good start for you all. If you're new to joining us, welcome. We're happy to have you here. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back. And we'd especially like to thank uh, those of you who watched episode 11, our Christmas special. And we had a lot of nice comments on that. So we're that glad. Was, that was fun to put together. It was. It was really fun. So I'm, we're glad you enjoyed it as well. We did just um, want to acknowledge the events of yesterday at the Capitol and um, what a sad, sad day that was um, in history mm -hmm. for the country. It, it was really shocking. Yep. And um, we just hope as things go forward that there isn't continuing violence. And Yeah, seems... Um, Seems a little frivolous to be doing uh, floss tube mm -hmm. in, in wake of that, but um, I know that for me anyway, uh, this year, um, stitching has given me a lot of solace and mm -hmm. has helped uh, to keep my sanity. So um, as we pray for our country, um, we, we hope that um, this may give you a little bit of a break from what is... Uh, ultimately a just a, a, a horrible um piece of of our history so mm -hmm. um with that um let's get into some stitching and um chris i think you are gonna throw out the first stitch Play ball! okay i love to jane i'll start with my one whip and this is Let's Talk Winter by Hands-On Design. And I was just kind of complaining to Jane that, um, I guess I, sh I knew this, but it's got a lot of white in here. <laughs> and more specifically, that's DMC 3865 Winter White. So um, it's so pretty though. It's 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 coming. It's coming, and uh, I will be excited when I get to put a little bit of color in here. <laughs> but um, I do like it. It will be. Um, I don't have a lot of um, just winter kinds of uh, projects um, that aren't specifically Christmas. Mm. So that'll be kind of nice to um, be able to put out. And it's a, um, you know, it's an easy stitch, so. And what's that fabric? And this fabric, I absolutely love. It's um, Be Stitch Me, and it's um, a 16 Ada in dirty chalkboard. Mm. So I love that. I'm going to do, um, I bought the Autumn, Let's Talk Autumn, before I got this winter one so this is a very generous cut of fabric and I'm gonna do that on afterwards I don't think I need to keep going with this series in summer and spring I think I can let those go by and um, but I do love that fabric and I was saying to Jane um, last month I had done a little prairie schooler it's called winter's eve mm. and uh, made that into a little pillow for a Christmas ornament gift and um, I really love that so I, I want to do one of I want to do that one again um, for me on the um, on this fabric when I'm finished so that's it on that great yeah um, I am not going to um, show whips at this time because uh, we are going to, as promised, uh, <laughs> do my whip parade in this uh, in this uh, episode. So we're going to wait to uh, to the end. We're going to take that. that all in at once. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yes, yes. So, like all us, right. you might want to grab a cup of coffee now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. Um, you have some finishes. I have some FFOs. Well, this is a small one, and this was uh, very close to being completed on uh, episode 11. But um, since then, I finished it on Christmas Eve, and I was very pleased to find this uh, little pre-made pillow with this just kind of fit in perfectly. It, it was a mystery linen that I picked up from a fellow stitcher at um, our um, LNS, The World in Stitches in Littleton, Mass. And this was a Frony Ritter, if that's how you pronounce it, patent um, that I've mentioned before. But now the big, the big moment, <laughs> the, the big, big reveal. Finish. <laughs> Excuse me. This while is so I exciting. Dig this out, and it's so beautiful. So, as I've talked about again and again, <laughs> Santa is finished. I'm sorry about the bad glare in this room with the lights and and everything. Um, but this is lavender and lace, gift of peace. This is the project that was 30 years in the making, <laughs> many more years off than on. Let's see if I can pull, get right. up closer and get some, of the, get some of the glare off. Uh, so I'm happy see. with the framing. It's um, uh, maroon, kind of Swedish fabric um, on the mat and a uh, big gold frame, which don't know if that shows, but it kind of picks up. There's some a little bit of um, gold filigree looking detail in that. Um, and I am so it's happy that it is finished. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and you're going to keep this hanging all year, right? Oh, well, I don't think like all the time, but I think it'll be up for a while. Uh -huh. Yes, for sure. <laughs> and as uh, our faithful viewers know, the... Um, a funny thing about this is uh, one of the few projects my husband's ever been interested in. And when I pulled it out again and said, look what I'm going to work on, he said that he would take me anywhere in the world if I finished it. So um, we've got a heck of a lot of time these days to figure out where that could be. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll keep you updated yes. for sure. Just beautiful. <laughs> So, so oh, here. done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, oh, all right, Paul. All right. Yes. Um. Why, why don't you talk? Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I will show you my haul. Um. Uh, this is in my um. Studio, Studio eighty eight West. West bag. Um, that I have shown before that I just love and I use all That's the time great. and um, it's very sturdy very very well made it's a nice tote so I have my haul in here you overfill that on a regular basis I, I, I do I do yes and it's got like pockets inside um, it's it's really I can't say enough about how much I yeah. love that bag um, all right, so um, I got a couple of things from one, two, three, and I'm gonna try to do this without taking everything out of the packages. So um, I got uh, Little House Needleworks, the uh, 12 Days of Christmas. And um, in previous episodes, I have shown um, a part of the series of the tumbleweed series that I've bought. So I got, uh, what number is this? This is number two. This is the, um, cowgirl, cowgirl country. That is adorable. Yeah. So. Love the finishing on that too. And then, um, our, as Chris said, our LNS is the world in stitches in Littleton, Massachusetts. Uh, she has been having a sale which um, is still going on and actually ends on Saturday. 
But last Saturday, I went and um, I did have a list of, because I thought, well, you know, I'll pick up some of, um, some of my things that I have on my wish list. Um, a lot of charts are 20% off. So I did pick up a couple on my wish list, but <laughs> then there's a few, few, others. few other things that I, uh, <laughs> that I, that I, you. that I found too. So this is another, another little house needleworks. It's called, uh, coming, coming to America. Oh, that's a good theme for you this year. Yeah, Jane. I know. Right. I don't know that one. That is really, very cute. Yeah, it is. Um, I got this, this East Coast people. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got this uh, Jardin Privé. Um, I have no idea how to say this. <laughs> I'm going to say Enchant Enchantillon. Enchantments um, doesn't mean maybe. Uh, anyways, it's a little sampler, um, and it has all like stitching terms on it. Oh. So it has fabrics fabric names and um says cross stitch on it handmade scissors back stitch sampler um so that was kind of completely that was wrong with cute. enchantments it probably <laughs> means uh accessories or I tools or I something don't know. Um, I am an Erica Michaels fan mm. so I got this uh humbly born I don't know that one either. That's nice. And uh, also in the Erica Michaels bin <laughs> was this uh, kit. It comes. It's a. It comes. It's a full kit. It's a finishing kit. It's called Little Flock. It comes with the uh, little wooden plaque That's to put nice. it on. Um, nice. I have liked these Madame <laughs> Chantilly with the animals. I've, I've really liked these for a while and this has been on my wish list for a while. So I got the summer ice lemonade. This is a, um, what do you think? Uh, Italian? I think this is an Italian company. Yeah, I think I'm... That's as um, good a guess as any. I'm not going to... I'm not going to try... Which of them? Try the name. It's something a go-go. Yeah. So. <laughs> Crocat a go-go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a, uh, a nativity piece. Um, Chris, uh, again, was not there to stop me from purchasing this. She so. takes advantage. So, uh, this is... But that was really nice. That is very pretty. Uh, this has been on my wish list for a while. The Prairie Schooler Country Seasons. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to be borrowing that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I like that one. It is really nice. And then I found this in my travels from the work basket mm -hmm. called uh, Quaker Crow. And I know that I know a bunch of people that I've seen do this. That should stitch up really fast. Yeah, yeah, we've so. done no time. <laughs> that is pretty. Yeah, the work that's very nice. Jane. So that well there. that is my haul. Okay. And Chris, I know that you have a few pieces to show. Oh yeah, I have a few little things. Um, tiger, you're now, sitting on my bag. On my oh, bag. Tiger. Tiger, lo ti tiger loves my yes, Studio 88 does. West bag, too. <laughs> yeah, he likes that felt. Um, so, Jane, as she's um, said before, and we'll describe in her web, she's in a no new star year. And I'm on... Um, Oh, I guess I'll call it a very limited spending year for, is my kind of goal for the, the year. So, of course, I had to buy as much as possible before <laughs> that began. <laughs> now, I was pretty reasonable, but I do a little haul here and I have a little more haul that hasn't arrived yet. So, um, I got a few things at one, two, three also. Nutmeg, which admittedly, very pretty color. But uh, I'm not even quite sure 
you know, sometimes things are delayed so often. By the time you get them, you kind of forget the project you bought them for. <laughs> but I so enjoyed that um, Prairie School school art ornament that I did um, last month that I was tempted to get a few more. And uh, I don't feel like I need every last one of these, but some of them just sort of spoke to me. I think this was 18. Yep, let it snow. And there's a couple of oldies in here. That's from 10. That is uh, Cross Country Skiing Santa. And from 11, that's one of my favorite snowshoeing Santa. Love those old uh, fashion snowshoes there. And uh, 16, Santa and the Reindeer there. So I hope to get those ornaments ready by next year. Mm -hmm. That was it, Paul. Okay. Yeah. All right. Maybe that leads us to our new segment. Yes. Yes. And since I'm not going to be buying as much this year, um, I'm going to have a new little segment. And thanks to Jane's technological proudness, <laughs> she's going to insert a picture. And this is, if I bought something this week, it would be Sir Thomas by Glendon Place. I saw that come out. The only person I think I've seen on Floss Tube who's shown that is um, Steph from Just Keep Stitching. Mm -hmm. But I saw that uh, even before she showed it on um, ABC Stitch Therapy. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I just absolutely love that. I think he is a magnificent turkey. So I'm going to keep track all year of these things that I would have bought and uh, maybe figure out which ones I really would like to buy at some point. So um, are you limiting yourself think, to a dollar amount, or are you going? Uh, yeah, uh, okay. I think I actually am. Um, I think, I know that when people did that, was it Stitch from Stash or something before? Mm -hmm. I think they limited themselves to $25 a month. Mm -hmm. I think I'm actually going to kind of go with 50 and... Um, maybe try to like really have that be all inclusive like of, of stitching um and my big goal is to try to save up money so jane and i are really hoping that we will get to galleria mm -hmm. in 2021 yeah, so for sure yeah. um yeah hopefully i'll i'll do that so that's the plan okay <laughs> that's plans can always change <laughs> That sounds good, though. I, I like that. That's a good idea. Um, that, so, so. And besides, look at all the things I have to borrow from Jane. So. <laughs> That's right. She can't start any of them. So it's really... I it's the know. Per, it's the I, perfect match. Yeah, I can't right. buy them. She can't start them. That's right. <laughs> That's great. Well, I okay. think it's time for a parade. Oh, I think so, too. Yes. Uh, do we have... The whiteboard. Oh yes. Let's see. Let's see if I can grab it. I hope so. Yep. Yeah, yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So, um, let's see. So the way that okay. the, the way that this is gonna go <laughs> is. And Jane's I, got a plan. I do have a plan. So I'm going to show my whips. And then pass them on to Chris, and then Chris will put them in put them in my put them in the other box. <laughs> so um, I have them sorted. Um, I have forty nine whips Ooh. that are in my no new starts. Wow. Um, I have them arranged alphabetically for right now, um, and um, in full disclosure, however, <laughs> I do have some other whips that are not in my no new starts. So I will not be working on these. Um, but in full disclosure, I just wanted to show you all of my whips. So um, I, the, I have four whips that are just very, very small. Um, and these, like I said, will not be worked on. Um, I am kind of thinking though, that maybe for me, my 2022 might be all smalls. 
Oh, or yeah. many, many smalls right. for 2022. Right. So they can sort of catch up on some smalls. Anyway. Um, and I'm thinking, like, I should probably do these this year when you can start those. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll give them, to you. I'll give them all to you. Okay. So uh, this is uh, Foxwood Crossing. This is Sledding Friends. Um, I've actually done a lot of the sleds. I have already stitched the Eskimo and I've already stitched the penguin once, but I wanted to stitch it again for either me or for someone else. So, um, I just have a very small start. The board for that? Yeah, I'll just, so I just have a very small start on the, on the penguin. I, I, that, all those are cute, but I really love that Eskimo. Yeah. That's adorable. Yeah, and, and it comes out really nice, too. Yeah. yeah. All right, that so yeah, I'll again. pass that over to you. Um, this, this is kind of embarrassing that I didn't finish it, but this is a, a, a badge. They call it a badge. Um, in, um, I got this from uh, mybobbin.com. It's just a little... Um, uh, dolphin. They have a bunch of these little badges that you can buy. They're just really tiny. Um, you can see that the it the um, it comes on it's uh, plastic canvas or plastic paper, but um, you can see how small it is. And I can't believe that I. I'm embarrassed to say that I <laughs> that I didn't finish it, but well, someday anyway, when so. you need a finish, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, the right. One to do, yeah. Um, this is another um, out of the hashtag um, be well and stitch. Um, this is from Silver Creek Creek Samplers. It's, um, kindness always matters. Mm -hmm. I did want to put this on my uh, no new starts, but I just didn't, you know, I, I just couldn't get around to um, actually getting getting, your 200, getting 200 stitches in. So I just have, you know, I just have a very, very tiny, tiny start. But that will You'll that get will, that hound finished someday. That'll, I think. that'll be done someday. This one I also got from uh, mybobbin.com, <laughs> and it's a little bat. And you stitch the front and the back, and then you put it together. That's and um, this, uh, again, is just a, an embarrassingly <laughs> small start. So, um, But those are my, let's go, the bat goes. Oh. Uh, yep, yeah, bat goes in here. Okay. Yep. And this goes in. This. Oh, wow, wow. there we go. Okay, so now we'll start with uh, my my no new starts. Um, the first one um, is in my uh, Studio Eighty Eight yeah. um, project bag, which I really like. I love the rose gold yeah uh, zipper on this. Perfect size and. And this is um, a, a Mill Hill pattern. It is the 12 Days of Christmas. Uh, these are um, uh, inspired by Jim Shore. I haven't seen that in a while, Jane. <laughs> yeah, this, this is the one that uh, Chris and I decided we were going to do 12 Days of Christmas, and we were each going to, we were going to do one month, um, uh, one square every month. So... We were off to a good start. We were off to a good start. Um, this is uh, on 32 Count Lugana. It's uh, Cream by mm. Silk Weaver. And I did get the, let me see, this is a that looks terrific. big piece of fabric. So I did get the partridge um, done except for the beading. And I've okay. started, you. yeah, thank you. And I've started on the two turtle doves. Here's my needle minder from Galleria. Uh -huh. So uh, anyway, this has to come out again because it's so pretty. Yeah. The colors really on this is. are awesome. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, my second is, now some of these um, you've already seen um, fairly recently because as I was starting some of these, I was showing them. Uh, this is um, a Christmas Carol by Sapphire Mountain uh, Handicrafts. Uh, I don't have the, the full picture. Uh, this is on a 28 count linen. Um, this is Cafe Mocha. I haven't finished it. I, I've only, um, I've almost finished the first installment, but haven't, haven't really uh, moved on from that. Um, I'm debating whether or not I'm going to actually finish it. This mm -hmm. might be a UFO. I think, I think the pattern is very pretty. I like, I really love the colors. What I'm disappointed in though is that it really doesn't really, it doesn't, it doesn't have scream, uh, it doesn't have Christmas, el elements of a Christmas, Christmas carol. carol. Yeah. Um, well, you're so. ahead of me. I haven't started mine yet even, but yeah. I read the book. Yep. <laughs> and I watched the movie. <laughs> no, I, I watched, uh, I watched them read the book. Right. Uh, That's you know. right. Yeah. <laughs> this next is Ask, Seek, Knock. This is um, Erica Michaels. It is ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. This is on a 32 count linen, antique white. Be using those um, weeks. Um, I am using um, DMC. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's nice see. Fabric. Which way does it go? I think it goes this I way. Think it goes that way. Yeah. I really like the way that looks. I do too. So yeah, I'm anxious to get back to That'll that. That'll be a good one. Yeah. All right. Not any of them are bad. Next is in um, my bag that I got um, from Lindy Stitches um, as kind of a, a kit. Um, this is a beach dance with the blue footed boobies. <laughs> and I'm doing this on a 32 count um, this is a, a limited edition. It's just a gray from uh, Color and Cotton. Mm. And I started on the border. There's really not much to show. Great fabric. Huh? It is a fabulous fabric. I love stitching on this. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good, actually. The color of the fabric yeah. looks pretty good. So, just started on the border. Yeah. Uh, the next is um, a pattern from the Drawn Thread, and it is uh, Be Well. It is uh, a, a bunny. Um, I will, if I remember, I will um, try to insert a picture of, of, the, um, of the pattern. This, is, this was the freebie. Hashtag be well and stitch. This is done on, um, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. No, this is, this is the Lila Studio one. And this is done on Arbor. That is absolutely perfect fabric for that. Yeah, I really like it. It's like, like bunny it. pink with grass stains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. So that's, that's Lila Studio. Um, this one is the drawn thread. It's another be well. Again, another another freebie. And I just got um, a small amount done on that. It does have two hundred stitches. It counts. But Good 
completion rate on a lot of these. I'm, I, I'm hoping. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping. Uh, this is um, Birds of a Feather. It's called Hanging <laughs> Around by Heritage Crafts. That's cute. And this is on a 32 count um, even weave. And I. Got a good stack I'm there. I'm doing okay on it. Oh, God, look at the wrinkles in it. You can tell I haven't worked on this in a while. Um, yep, yeah, so you can see the outline of the owl here. And. Uh, yeah. Pretty the, blue. This one's a, that one's fun to do too. Mm. It's got some nice colors in it. Yeah. Uh, this one I I have put in a, a few more stitches since uh, the the last math. The, yes, since the first of the year. This is um, an awesome pattern studio. And it is called Boston. Oh, great! I love this one. I can find the picture. Here's the picture. This one I'm doing on a 32 count it's linen. It's called um, Blue Ice. Mm. I don't remember. I think this might be a. Is this a bee stitch me fabric? I'm not really sure. Mm. Uh, it might be a bee stitch me fabric. Um, got a little bit more. Got a little bit more of the city done. So realistic rendering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this one I keep. Um, I keep my floss for this in another um, Studio Eighty Eight West bag. It's just a small little um, like uh, notions bag. That's great. That I like very much. I, th I like the feel of yeah, that. Yeah, I know. So Everything is so well finished. All right. And um, this one um, is my snow day project, oh, yeah. Sal. You've had a little opportunity for that. I have, yeah. So since we last met on, let's see, on December 20th, we had about an inch of snow. Yeah. So not yeah, huge, but, but I got to work on it. Yeah. And then on the 3rd, we had a little bit of snow, uh, less than an inch. And then um, a couple of days ago, did you see it snow? Yeah, I did. So it was just, yeah, you know, yeah. not much, but you I still worked on it. You had to look I think, I think it still counted. It did. So this is my uh, button up. It's adorable. And um, I finished. Well, Ooh. I didn't. I almost finished. I, you know how you know how you have. Um, you think you have all the colors of DMC? Oh yeah, yeah. Except the so, one you need. <laughs> except, <laughs> except one, and it's the one that I needed. So except the one that Michaels never has or something, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So I finished the middle except for one face of the barn because I didn't have the, yeah. Um, and then I decided that, actually, if I could see the pattern sure. one more time. So if you look at the pattern, they have, between each segment, they have like a line of um, back stitching. So, and if you look really close at this, now this is a, this is a, um, you know, a finish by the Prairie Schooler or by their finisher. Mm -hmm. And you can still see that just by doing a single line, it is so hard to get that straight. Oh. So you can you can see that it's not straight. Even, yeah. Even in the, even in the professional finishing. Yeah. So what I decided to do was instead of doing straight lines, I'm doing this zigzag line. Oh. And it, it will okay. help a little when I'm going to um frame it because you don't you don't have to get it perfect right right so i started that and then i um so i finished that and then i started the um segment below 
Um, one other thing, I just, sorry, <laughs> one other thing that I just wanted to mention about this pattern is I love it. There's one thing that bothers me about it, and it's this square up here. So all of these other squares have a person in them, except this one. So why doesn't that one have a person in it? I'm going to buy... Um, I, already, I actually, I actually, no, I, I actually already bought it. It's on its way. Um, Winter Wind is another Prairie Schooler design, and it's a little person on a sled. Oh, so I'm going to substitute okay. that into this because I, I want have, someone uh, in each. Yeah. I want, I yeah. want, and I don't know why. I don't know why they would have done that, but it bothers me so. It belongs um, in the oven. Yeah. yeah. This is very nice material. Yeah, it's, um, let's see. I don't know who, I don't remember who I got that from, but it's, uh, oh, I have to show you this bag, too. So this bag, um, my husband and I went to Australia on our honeymoon, and we went to see the fairy penguins in, um, Ooh, you Australians out there are going to be mad at me. Uh, in, in Mel, off of Melbourne, but I don't exactly remember the place. But anyway, um, they had a gift shop, and the gift shop had a cross-stitch pattern of a fairy penguin. So I bought it, and this is it. And I didn't know what to do with it, and I just sat around, sat around. So I finally sent it to Keepsakes in Ohio and said, you know, what can you do with this? So they made it into this cute <laughs> little bag. And I just noticed that the J is on that. Did yes. they put that on there for you? They did. They put this little J on there for the um, zipper pull. And then inside is a really pretty little um, flowered pattern. So I was so happy with this because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And it's just... Perfect. That's a great use. Yeah, it's yeah. really great. Yeah, very nice finishing, huh? Yeah. All right. Um, Excuse me. This is a um, this is a Calvin and Hobbes pattern. Oh. Um, I got this off of um, eBay. Um, I don't. I got it a, a while ago now. I don't remember who, where, what, mm -hmm. but this is um, Calvin and Hobbes uh, walking on a log, and this is this is the only this is the this is the whole pattern. And what I'm going to do is after I finish this, I'm going to uh, put the words in that um, um, there's never. There's never enough time for doing all the nothing that you want. <laughs> uh, and that that is a quote um, by um, Gary Watterson. Yes, that's his, yeah, that's the Calvin and Hobbes guy. So that's great. Um, this fabric is a 28 count Jovelin. It is spring morning by Ooh. Coloring Cotton. Oh. And oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, you've got a lot done, Jane. And here is my Hobbs. That is adorable. So the the pattern is kind of cheap, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's really fiddly. So so I'm not really I'm I'm sort of following the pattern, but I'm kind of not yeah, because I don't, I don't like the way the yeah. corners are. So I'm kind of I'm kind of faking it, but. Um, it's coming out okay. Yeah, it looks great. That is gorgeous fabric too. Mm, I love that. Yeah. Uh, my next is Christmas Means More. And this is um, a heart and hand. And my idea with this is that I'm um, going to use the font but I probably won't put in any of these motifs because I wanted to put in the freebie pattern of um, the Grinch All right. that um, Brooks Book 
Brooks Books has. Um, and if, I don't know if I have a picture of that stuck in here. Um, so, so this is the Grinch. Um, and then she also has a pattern of Max. Mm -hmm. um, and that's Max. So I'm going to put the Grinch, I'm going to put Max, and then I also have a, um, a chart of a tree that I got as a freebie from Hershner's that I'm going to put on there, too, because it kind of looks like a, um, to me, it looks like a Dr. Dr. Seuss-type tree. So here's the tree. There it is. That'll be great. Yeah. Um, and I haven't gotten too far on this. This was one of my new starts so that I could mm -hmm. have my no new Counting. starts. Yeah. Um, That's great fabric, too. I put in the word Christmas. And the fabric is a 28 count Lugana in moss green. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's... yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Moss green by Silk Weaver. Okay. Thank you for helping me. Oh, that's all right. Bonna. I'm happy to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be the assistant. Jane has told me she'll come and help me organize my whips in this good of fashion yeah. for my whip parade, so <laughs> I'll take that any day. Um, this is called Costume on Halloween. I got it um, <laughs> off of Etsy. It's a Vitalia Mischuk pattern. It's just fun. Yeah. And I'm doing this on a 32-count Lugana. This is corn husk uh, from Color and Cotton. Mm. And again, not, not a huge start, but... It counted. Enough to put on my <laughs> list. So. That's all that matters. Yep. All right, this one I really have to get back to because uh, they're out with uh, part five, and Ooh. I haven't finished part one yet. <laughs> this is Autumn Lane's uh, Dark Queen of the Sea. Dark Queen of the Seas. I've been enjoying watching um, Kansas City Girls. Uh, oh, yeah. Progress yeah. on that one. Yeah, yeah. I'm just keeping, really keeping up with that well. Um. This is on a 32 count Lugana called Bewitched Under the Sea Fabrics. This is the called for fabric. I have a minuscule <laughs> start. I just have part of one of the fishes done. So the, the um, floss tubers that I've been washing that have, have really um, do have a lot done. It looks really nice. It does. That yeah. that fabric just totally yeah. yeah makes it. And all the colors too that yeah you know that she uses. It's great. And yeah. um, uh, there's also a uh, some variations that yes. you can choose yeah. too. Yeah, on like the hair and yep. yeah yeah. This uh, yeah. next is Dog's Declaration from Ink Circles. That's one of my favorite that you're doing. Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Squirrels. I can't wait to see this one. I'm doing yeah. this on the called for fabric, which is a 36 count um, linen yeah, Tyco. I'm also uh, using the called for uh, Veldani threads. Mm, nice. And, you know, it's a I, I, it's not even really worth unfolding at all, but you know, I just have a very small, very small start. Just started the border, but I like the way that looks. Yeah, I think it's gonna yeah, be really that's nice. That's beautiful. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, next is. Um, from a Leisure Arts booklet called uh, Sweet Sayings. 
And I am doing this little girl here. The name of the pattern is Dream, Wish, Love, Believe. I'm doing it on a 28 count white even weave. I don't have all that much uh, done mm -hmm. on it, but um, hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more progress <laughs> on a lot of these. <laughs> you got a year. That's right. That's I'll right. Get that for you. Okay. Uh, the next is Early Americans. Oh, I love those. Uh, from Little House Needleworks. I'm uh, doing the whole series. I'm sure that you've seen these many times before. Uh, this is on a 32 count Belfast linen. Uh, nice. This is flax. And I have the border for uh, the number one, which is Betsy Ross. I have the border. Which done. was exactly like 200 stitches or something, yeah, right? Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Phew, got away with that one. Cut right in there under the wire. <laughs> are you sure these boxes are the same size? Yes, <laughs> yes, right. yes. They're exactly the same size. I'm not quite size. visually oh, how I'm going to fit all those in here. <laughs> All right, this is um, called mm. Eat Cake by mm. Sue Hillis. Love hers. And I'm doing this on a 38, uh, uh, sorry, 28 count casual uh, linen. Mm. The mm. This is another color in cotton and it is called Lemonade. So. Aptly named. Yes, it's really pretty. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I mentioned um, in a previous video that my idea, I put it on a really big piece because my idea is to use the saying, it's, uh, it says, the more you weigh, the harder you are to kidnap. <laughs> I won't put this in. Uh, my idea, though, is to surround this cake with many other um, desserts. That's and great. That would be really fun. Junk food type <laughs> stuff. I'm looking at the back of her, you know, with her various designs and things. How many of these do I own, Jane? <laughs> Probably all of them, right? <laughs> uh, another uh, Studio 88 West bag. Oh, that's a nice one. Too. Yeah, this is a yeah, yeah. This is a nice size. I like this. And my JBW French Country mm -hmm. Snow Globe is in this. And this one I've been working. Wow. On, this one I've been working on a little bit. I have. That looks like it's almost done. Uh, so there's a lot of the there's white. a lot of white to go around, and then a then a border. Uh. So I've been working on this a lot because uh, it's, you know, seasonal stitching. Yeah. So. Yeah, very nice. We'll have that done in no time. time. Yeah. Sorry. That's all right. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have the Prairie Schooler Harvest Time. I am doing the first. I'm I'm starting off with the um, the turkey, mm -hmm. but I'm only doing um, the turkey and a little bit of the um, edge. I'm not I'm not doing um, the whole thing. I'm I'm more I'm more doing this where they cut off part of the the uh, design. Mm -hmm. And here's my turkey. Not exactly sure which way it goes, but <laughs> you'll figure I'm... that out by the <laughs> that's what I got <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> this is another who Sue Hillis design called Hello Autumn. Oh, I love that one. And 
This is on a 32 count uh, Lugana. It's called Robin. Um, I think this was like an orphan or a one-off or something like that. Um, I love it, but I don't get the name so much. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't either. Um, let me th just think here. This goes this way. Yeah, I think so too. Great modeling in that. Yeah, I, I really like the fabric. Yeah. This is an old uh, chart from uh, 1988. Uh, keeps creative keepsakes. It's called Hey Diddle Diddle. And I'm doing this on an 18 count Ada. Um, this is an, an just ivory from, it's a Charles Craft uh, Ada. And I've just done a few of the words little bit of the moon. Enough to get you to 200. And, yeah, that's right. Put it on the list. <laughs> this is a, um, a Whitley Julep Designs called Lamplight Trio. Mm -hmm. We have three beagles <laughs> singing. And um, I have two beagles at home, Daisy and Lefty. Do they sing? They try. <laughs> uh, let's see, which way does this go? Yeah, so I got yeah. a little bit. I have a little bit of the lamp post oh, yeah. and part of, some, part of the dogs. That's going to stitch up real fast. Yeah. Um, Pam from Just Keep Stitching um, is starting a sale wow. for 2021 with this chart called uh, Let Freedom Ring from Lila's Studio. And that's gorgeous. Yeah, it's really. Yeah. Uh, I've had it for a while, and Pam has inspired me to start it. And that is going to look gorgeous. This is this is a 36 count linen. It's called Pampras Grass by Seraphim Fabrics. Mm. I know that you can't get this anymore because oh. um, you can't she can't get the dye any oh, longer or something like yeah. that. So just perfect. Yeah, so you can't get this anymore. But if anyone knows. Um, the owner of Surf and Fabrics and can get her to find find a <laughs> find something similar. This fabric is it's beautiful to stitch on oh, and yeah. the color is great. Love the feel of so, us. Yeah very that happy with is that. It's really gonna be gorgeous. Yeah. Looking forward to getting more on that. Um, I did not bring, I'll see, no, I didn't bring my little drummer boy. Um, oh. Yeah, I, I actually forgot it. So I have, um, I'm doing little drummer boy. I'm a doing small project. A small project. This is a Hade. Um, I'm doing it on 28 count. Easy grid, uh, one over one. Um, and... This is going to take a long time to do. I think so. <laughs> so <laughs> we can have a so, few smalls. Yeah, you know, yeah, out. yeah. Right, I got to find a few smalls. <laughs> that will be uh, lovely, though. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. I, I only have, um, really, I only have. I probably have like three hundred stitches in it. <laughs> so it's, it's not even. We know. might be seeing it next year too. Then, in other words. Well, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, uh, this is uh, Country Cottage Kids. It's called Mermaids. And I just think that that's really cute. And doing it on uh, 28 count linen. And it's called uh, Mediterranean Sea. I have part of one of the mermaids done. 
And I'm, That's I'm beautiful. for the floss, I'm using um, you know, just some, some different overdyes. Very pretty. And again, that fabric. Wow. Yeah. It's nice, it's nice to stitch on, too. Yeah. I have a uh, Nativity Trio. This is Imaginating. It's uh, 18 count um, oatmeal fabric that I'm doing. I just started the middle square um, in the middle. And uh, let me think about this for a minute. It's a pretty it, shade. I think it goes like this. Yeah. So that shade is, is throughout a lot of it. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Uh, this is um, this is a pattern that I have thought more than once about throwing in the trash. Because <laughs> I... How do you have those little ones sometimes? I, just... I hate this project. <laughs> um, it is a dimensions <sighs> kit. It is called Ocean. <sighs> and the fabric is awful. Oh, yeah. And the floss is awful. It's kind of uh, like basically comes in a big bunch and you have to yep. figure out what the difference yeah. between light blue and very light blue <laughs> and kind of light blue. And... Right. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, it's just not, you know, the, I don't like the thread. I don't like the fabric. It's just a slog. Other than that, it's yeah, great. I, yeah, yeah, I've, I've, yeah. But I did chart out... Um, my idea was to not put ocean in, but I was going to put Naples in because that's oh, where my husband and I go in Florida. So I don't know. I, I can't, I don't know. I put that it on. That might save it. It, it had a hundred, it already had 200 stitches in it. So <laughs> that, that's, it that's in. why I threw it in, but I'm not sure if I'm really going to finish it because I don't enjoy working on it. Uh, this is Old McDonald's Farm. This is a pattern by uh, Leslie Teary. That's door. Uh, this is a 32 count uh, white Lugana. I and love all those bright colors for our yeah, new day. Yeah, this is this, yeah. Is, this is the color palette. So it's nice. That's a fun one to work on. And this is uh, just a little bit of the pig. Um, this one you have all seen before if you've watched our program. Pilgrim Fathers Sailing from Delfshaven. I wished that I could have finished it um, well, for you this got the, year. You got the big one done, though. I did get that. America, yeah, I got that so. one done. So I wouldn't beat yourself up over <laughs> that one. <laughs> this one, yeah. so I got some of the building done. And moving on to, I think it's the windmill. You'll get that soon. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll be fine. There you go. All right. Uh, this was the last um, entry into my No New Starts. Um, it is, I don't know if I have a picture. I don't think I have a picture of this either. I'll try to insert it. Um, this is a uh, Winnie the Pooh quote, mm -hmm. and it says, um, sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. And it's a picture of Winnie the Pooh walking along with Piglet. Uh, and I was waiting, I was waiting for um, some color and cotton floss to come in, and it finally came in. I'm using Submarine to do the words. Uh, so that came in and I started it and, um, is that color and this, cotton fabric? this is a uh, silk weaver fabric. Ooh. It's, um, a 32 count, um, Joblin. It's an even weave and mm. it's called summer sky. But, Aptly named. Yeah. It's really pretty. Um, Oh, by the way, we're going in alphabetical order, so um, we are up to the P's, um, but I have quite a few more, so. <laughs> P as in poo? Yes. 
Uh, and then pre, P is in Presepe. Mm. This is a design by Sarah. It's a nativity. And I'm doing this on a 32 count um, it, uh, linen. It is called uh, Corn Silk mm. by Weeks Dye Works. Now that's the one that might be hard to figure out. Is that the hook? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's this. Good. So, you know so this is a up. yeah. So this is a shepherd. And the hook. So that'll be a beautiful one. Yeah. Looking forward to doing more yeah. on that too. This is one that I. I don't know, I kind of like doing, and sometimes I don't, I don't know. So this is called Rats by Glendon Place. <laughs> and it says, Rats, I ate too much candy. Have a <laughs> sweet Halloween. <laughs> this is on a 28 count Lugana. It says, Why got nice fabric? color there. And the color is Golden Blossom. Ooh. The, um, he looks weird with no eyeballs. <laughs> um, Not as so. uh, much stitching anyway as a lot of Glendon Place no. requires. Yeah, so. yeah. So yeah. I, you know, I have a, a little, I have now, a little bit more of him, the, the mouse to do, and then, well, I guess it's a rat. The rat and the broom and the words, and that'll be, I'll be done. This is a Lindy Stitches, Ride Forth Singing. Um, if thou hast a fearful thought, tell it not to a weakling. Whisper it to the saddle bow, whisper it to thy saddle bow and ride forth singing. Mm. This is a King Alfred the Great um, quote. And um, doing this on a 32 count jovel and it's called uh, Queen Anne's Lace. It's a witch oak fabric. And I have the word. Oh, I don't look great. I have the that. word singing. And a little bit more. A so. good star. Yeah, and I, um, hoping that you know once I get going on some of these that they'll yeah you know that they'll stitch up real fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's always what we're hoping for. <laughs> this is a dimensions kit. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Ornaments. Oh, I love these. And these are done. Yeah, well, you can... I should find these and put them in my... <laughs> you could do them if you I wanted know. to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know where these are in my whip pile. <laughs> oh, uh, I think you've got more done than I do, Jane. <laughs> the... Um, these are, it comes with a, like a plastic canvas to stitch them on. Um, this is the, just a little bit of the snowman. Um, I, I had thought about maybe putting them on um, fabric, but I actually have seen them finished on the, the, yeah. uh, the, fa the plastic. And they look and good. They, huh? look, they look great. Yeah. So yeah. that won't fit in here. So oh, okay. we're all set. Okay. Uh, let's see. Next <laughs> is Sawin and Salem. Mm -hmm. This is a hemlock and rye stitchery pattern, which really reminds me of Salem. Yeah. She just nails it, doesn't she, with the style? Yeah. In fact, you great. just reminded me that I did forget to show some other last-minute purchases I made. I got a few of hers um, on Hemlock and Rye and um, the Nantucket Houses. Oh. The Christmas house. Yeah. To show that. Those Another are pretty, too. Christmas yeah. ornament one, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, all I have is some, some windows. Windows, window frames. Good start. You got that. Yeah, good start. Got the bones of it down there. <laughs> yeah, I like. I am. I'm a little worried about the the size though. Oh. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit. But oh, that's the one year. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. Great colors. Yeah. Uh, this is my oldest whip. Oh. 
and this is um, a Scandinavian um, company, and it's a Scandinavian um, tablecloth. So, did you get it in Scandinavia? I did not. Oh, okay. I got it um, from oh, uh, those Scandinavian stitches. Yes, that we used to see. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, there were. Can't think of them. I can't either. Muscle was Scandinavian <laughs> stitches. <laughs> It could be. <laughs> that would make sense. Anyway, this came as a kit, and um, it came. It's the uh, the tablecloth. So, and this um, so it came with the fabric, which is a, an eleven count uh, white Ada. It also came with. Yeah, well, I've done it. Actually. It also came with the floss, and there's. You know, so there's some cotton in here. There's some silk in here. Mm. Um, and the tablecloth is this design on all four corners. So it's a lot of stitching. It is a lot of stitching. There's a lot of confetti in this. Um, so I finished. This is one corner that's done. And then I moved across and I started on the second corner, and oh, I just got, I don't know if I want to stitch this thing four times. <laughs> so that's how much I got on the second corner, and then I stopped. You can't and, give up on this one, though. Yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I mean, you can see how old it is because it's got masking tape on it when I was young and foolish. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your finisher can take care of that. <laughs> okay. All right. That really would be beautiful on your table, though. I would. I love yes, it would. Scandinavian yep. designs. Yep, it would. So not so much that I'm going to do this. But <laughs> I'd love to see it well, on your it, table. Well, if I remember, you probably I have a couple of kits too. Um, I, I should specifically remember you. the uh, advent calendar. Oh my god, did I bought. actually get that? You did. I don't know what I was thinking of. This is a Swigart um, magazine um, mm. called At Home with Needlework. I am doing the scarecrow that is, um, I'm doing these colors. That's a great one. How many years do we look at that before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just, you know, you got to yeah. break down eventually. They wear you down. Yeah. This is on a 14 count oatmeal. Oatmeal looks like, yeah. Yep. Oh. Uh, and I think it goes that way cuz it's <laughs> green on the top, brown on the bottom. There you go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to see this one finished this year, do you think? I don't... No. I'm going to say no right now. <laughs> oh, uh, I love this right. one. This one is um, My Studio Create. This is an Etsy shop. This is uh, Smokey Bear. So you uh, stitch the hat, the eyes, the, the nose, the ears, um, but you do not stitch the bear's face. It is so clever. So I am doing this on a 28 count linen and um, it is called Fall Bliss from Mountain Air Fabrics. Perfect choice. And I have some of the hat done. All right, there we go. I have some of the hat done. And just trying to finish, you know, I'll, I'll finish the hat, put in the word smoky, and then maybe take this. You know, this would be a good one just to kind of leave off to the side for when I go, like, to the stitching groups right. or something. Right, yeah, I, you, know, you don't or have to. I don't have to think about. Pay too much attention. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great, how many more do I have to fit in this four um, box? Um, ten. All right. Yeah. Maybe less. No, ten probably. Ten or so. We'll get them in here somehow. You, yeah, well, yeah, that'll be no problem. Because I have to, well, I have two boxes, so we can always <laughs> use that too. This is called Spring Floral Cross. It is by Cooler Classic, um, Cooler, Cooler Designs. 
this is a 32 count Lugana. Ooh, um, the color is lavender and it's by Silk Weavers. Uh, again, really hard to try to figure out which way it goes, but mm, that's how much I got. So. All right. You don't have as much spring stuff either, so that no, will be. No, I don't. Yeah, it'll be nice to. Yeah. This is an Elsa Williams um, kit. I can't believe that's the first Elsa you're pulling out here. I know, right? Um, this is called Sun Catchers, and I just, I like it because it's different. It's got yeah. all of these little turtles on a log. I am, um, I'm using the floss that came with the kit. However, I did change out the Ada that it came with, and I'm, I put it on a, uh, 28 count linen. That was a good call. Um, let me hold that. Yeah, I think I got it. All right. And, um, it's called Vintage Blue Whisper. Well, that cut so down a little bit got on a, that, uh, stitching too, or um, the water? No, or? because, uh, because this is the, these, this is like the water that will be stitched. The rest of this won't be stitched. Oh, okay. Because um, the, the Ada that it came with was already Oh, blue. that was blue it was, as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it really won't cut down on the stitching. Yeah. But I just like the fabric yeah, better. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, next is called... Um, this is Alphabets in Cross Stitch. And it's uh, Looney Tunes <laughs> Alphabets. Um, my, uh, last name is Sylvester, and my husband's name is Howie Sylvester, and I am doing the, um, I'm doing the Sylvester letters, so, uh, there are some, uh, like, you know, there's a L right there, but I'm, I'm doing his name in the Sylvester letters. Mm -hmm. So there's the H started. Um, if I get ambitious, I might put Howie and Jane <laughs> uh, on there. That's great. Uh, this is a uh, 28 count linen um, Confederate gray. Yeah, that's gonna be fun to do too. Yeah. This is a barefoot needle art. Um, Thanksgiving, Mr. Owl. A, I don't remember him. Huh? I don't remember him. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, this is a 32 count linen vintage blue whisper. Not sure which way this goes either. But this is the stomach of the owl. Just a little bit, a little bit of a start. The 200 stitches. Okay. That's a pretty blue too. Oh, you know what? I don't have this one with me. Oh. It's, you know why? Cause it's, it's on, it's, it's laying out on the back of the chair so that I can keep looking at it and thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so that it, it'll call to me. Uh, I'll show this one next time, but this is... Oh, and that's... This, the, you've got an impressive amount done on that. Yeah, this is Stony Creek. This is um, the Ark. Um, I'm doing it on an 18-count um, white Ada by Charles Craft, and um, I have... I have quite a bit of it done. Oh, yeah. I have a bunch of the animals done. I'm I think this will be the year, Ark. don't you think? Oh, uh, I don't know. I could... Well, I'm not promising anything. All right. <laughs> We'll keep tabs on your progress. Yeah. Um, so, this is Things I Know for Certain. This is a um, McKessa Creations design. You can find it on Etsy. 
doing this on a 28 count linen. Um, this is a solo piece from Silk Weaver. And where am I here? Yeah. I just I just started on one of the dresses. I think it's at the bottom. Yeah. So I just I didn't cut the fabric, so I just started in the in the bottom corner of the fabric. If you have extra, that'll be great for some Halloween stitching. Huh? Yep. Uh, let's see. Next is a, a dimensions kit. It's called Three Bird Watchers. Mm -hmm. That's such a classic. Thing. Yeah, I like this, and um, I wouldn't necessarily, you know, do this, but. Uh, it's one of those where I've seen it done. I mean, I've yeah, seen it, right. I've and it seen makes it, such an impression. I've seen it finished, yeah. Um, I don't have a lot done on this either, and I'm trying to figure out which way it goes. I think it goes this way. But part of the windowsill and part of one of the cats. And again, you can tell how old this is. With the, <laughs> that's probably my second oldest whip. This is a, a Stony Creek book called Nature's Best for the Bath. I am doing this one called Under the Sea. I'm actually doing it for a friend of mine whose birthday is January 14th. And um, this January 14th? <laughs> <laughs> Every January 14th. <laughs> <laughs> so she won't get it this year uh, but because this is all I have done on it um, but she'll she'll get it she'll, she'll get appreciate it, it I'm sure she'll whenever. get it yeah I, I I don't know what I'm gonna tell her this year when her birthday comes around I could Wait tell her next year yeah <laughs> I could tell her that, no, it's, it's, it's coming. It's coming along. Uh, this one, the next one is um, uh, Winds of Grace. And that's what the pattern looks like. I'm not doing the pattern that way. Um, I am doing some of the motifs around. I'm going to do the the middle, I'll do the boat and the words and the fish, um, but um, this is for um, a co-worker's daughter, mm. uh, and I wanted to put um, her name in flags, mm. and then her mother's name, her father's name, and her their last name um, on the bottom. Mm. Very ambitious. So I have, I have the whole uh, frame. I have the whole outline done, and I've started doing some of the flags. So oh, nice. once I get, you know, it, it's once I get it kind of plan. I have it kind of yeah. planned out, but I got to do a little bit more planning on it. Once I get that done, um, should should go really fast. <laughs> That's nice. All right, we're down to the last two. Ooh, I don't have to stuff too much more here. <laughs> this is from a book, uh, Winnie the Pooh and Friends, 100 Acre Wood. It's a book from um, 2002. I am doing this pattern with all the characters mm. in it. Here's another classic. Another classic. Who well, doesn't now, like Winnie? Well, now I have a great niece that I'm thinking, oh, I should do this for her. Oh, I should do this for her. Oh, look at that. Look yeah. at this. Look how cute this is. I, I could do this for her. I do it all. So. Uh, and I have 200 stitches. <laughs> you can't tell. You probably can tell it's Winnie the Pooh, but you can't tell where or who or what. <laughs> but there. You're right, though. That's Winnie the Pooh color, all right. Definitely. And then the last one um, is what? not the is, last one. The last one is um, another Winnie the Pooh, and let's see if I have a picture of it. Uh, this one I should have I should have pulled out the picture before. 
There we go. This is uh, Winnie the Pooh tree. Uh, this is um, Simonetta Sabatucci design. And it is on a 28 count even weave. It sure just, looks like Eeyore to me. It's just white, yes, and here is his Eeyore. I should, really should put an eye in him because he, he looks <laughs> awful. There's well, Eeyore. he is kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's that's Eeyore. Okay. Um, phew, phew, and those and those are my whips. So I don't know about you, yeah. but I'm exhausted. <laughs> uh, Very efficiently done, though, Jane. Yes, you thank you. I, I, great I, order. <laughs> I tried, and thank you so much, my assistant. <laughs> Otherwise, everything I, would be spread everywhere. I'm getting everywhere. Good at, at this. Everything at this would point. be spread everywhere. That is something. So, um, well, anyway, so uh, so now, you. now I'm thinking, how and when am I going to stitch these? And I, yeah, what's um, the plan? So I think, I think I might do some seasonal stitching so okay. like i'll do the snow globe obviously i'll do button up if it snows right, um, right. but then in between um you gotta get some of these like baby to, ones going yeah i yeah. do i do gotta get some of the baby ones going i'd like to continue on the boston one i mean yeah. the good news is that I like them all, and I like stitching on right. them all, except There's, for the except, except for the that. ocean yeah. one. <laughs> um, so that one, yeah, I don't know. But um, so it's going to be hard to Pick. hard hard to choose. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. I probably won't do any of the fall ones or Halloween ones until yeah. the, you know until, until you get there. Yeah. Right. What about that poor person with the birthday next week? You gonna work on that? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to work on that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll work on that off and on. Yeah. Yeah. So that, yeah. that'll come out in some sort of a, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be a rotation. I'm, I'm still not quite sure how I'm going to work on these. I do stitch every night, so I pu I'll pull yeah. out something. Yeah. Um, well, you got a lot of great candidates mm. in there. So for some of them, though, I have pulled, I do have uh, floss that's, in the project bag. Okay. So I was kind of thinking that I might work on some of those so that I can put the floss back into oh. my, uh, you know, yes, yeah, storage yeah. and have that available. Yeah, that's a good point. So that I might, yeah. I'm thinking of, I might do some of that, um, and some of them are kind of small-ish. Right. So I right. could maybe bang those. Kind up. of like get your confidence, have that's a few right. under your belt, yeah. and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah all right so thank you so much for for sticking with us on uh plants you want to talk oh uh, well i know after this it seems pretty <laughs> minor but <laughs> i'm gonna keep working on uh let's talk winter mm -hmm. and um i'd like to um start some of those little uh, prairie schooler oh, ornaments yeah. get a jump on next year, mm -hmm. and uh, of course I gotta pull together my whips to do this. That's right. And uh, yes, I know mm -hmm. that will remind me of a few other things that I'm sure I've said many weeks ago. I was gonna finish up on by the next episode. So, <laughs> so I have, uh, like I said, I have forty nine whips that are in my no new starts and i know that you have at least that many you know i'm sure i do too <laughs> and i know i know i can't even put my hands on a lot of them but yeah yeah so i'm gonna so, start digging okay yeah all right that sounds good and um uh, just one last thing is um the world in stitches um is sale is still going on it, it goes on until um it'll end on this saturday so um if you're looking for to pick up anything, so um, you too head could on. have forty nine whips. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, again, thank you so much for for staying with us, and um, I will not be putting all of uh, the details of my whips uh, in the comments. Uh, if there's something that you have seen that you want to ask about, or 
have questions, you know, please um, you can email us and I'd be happy to, to answer any questions that you have. Um, until next time, um, again, thank you so much for joining us. Happy stitching and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.